So hey guys, lab technician here. So in this video, I want to explain you how I became a laboratory technician. I want to do something different this time. I don't want to show you experiments or show you how to do different methods in the lab. I want to explain you how I got to the position where I am today. So I'm 26 years old and I work as a lab technician in a microbiology lab here in Austria since um, July 2022. So I'm almost working one year as a lab technician now. And I want to explain you how I got here. So the story starts in 2016 when I enrolled for a biology program. So when I finished high school, I didn't really know what to do. Um, I was always very passionate about science, especially about physics and biology. So I was kind of a philosophical person at the moment. I wanted to understand how the world really works. You know, I wanted to have those unanswered questions answered. So when and how did life begin? How did the universe begin? I was very much into astronomy. Um, I loved, for example, the stories of Carl Sagan, uh, his way of explaining science. And I was extremely interested in evolution. I was extremely interested in genetics. And I had a passion for like modern science and um, I wanted to have this tool to answer these questions for myself. And um, this, is, this is why I, I, at, at this age, when I was 19, I really wanted to become a scientist. I wanted to be like Charles Darwin. I wanted to be like Albert Einstein. I wanted to, you know, um, pursue knowledge and I wanted to understand how the world works. So in 2016, I had basically just one option because in my hometown, they only offer a biology program and no physics program. So I had to study biology by heart because it was financially difficult for me to move to another town. And um, this is why I stayed here in my hometown and studied biology. And um, how did it work out? So the first semester was pretty hard, I would say. Um, the exams were really difficult. Um, I had to study. I had to study a lot of physics, although I liked it. But you know, the math was kind of hard still. Um, a lot of chemistry. I um, also liked that a lot. But you know, the professor was really, really giving us very hard exams, and um, it was kind of difficult to pass. I think. We had a dropout rate at that exam of about 70%, 70%, yeah, not 17, 70%. And it was really hard to pass that exam. But um, anyway, so I, I failed actually my very first exam that I did um, because I didn't really know how to study at the university. So it was all new for me. And once I figured out how to do that, I, I was actually able to study um, like I was studying in high school and passing the exams. So time passes by and I finish all the semesters and I get to do my bachelor thesis and I chose a lab where they do stem cell research and I was able to uh, do a bachelor thesis about gene expression analysis. So it was kind of fulfilling my dream of becoming or get a glimpse of genetics uh, at a lab where they really do um, stem cell genetics and you know try to answer very basic research questions. So I was analyzing gene expression in osteoblasts, stem cells. And um, I really liked it. I got a glimpse of science and I don't know, I still had the feeling that I should pursue um, a career in science. And then the pandemic hit and I had to decide what I want to do next. So what, what should I do? Should I go try out a job or should I pursue a master's degree? And since we were all locked in and I was already a student, I decided to continue studying and do a master's degree. And I was able to go through the program quite quickly because everything was online and I didn't have to go to the university. I didn't have to attend lectures or courses. Everything was online. So I was able to finish the, the coursework for the master degree in three semesters. And then I had one semester left to do my master thesis. And I did my master thesis in a microbiology lab and in this microbiology lab, I investigated the interaction of the interaction of immune cells with Helicobacter pylori. So it was um, a master thesis which had, which involved a lot of Western blotting. It involved um, mutagenesis. I was able to generate 
um, genetically modified cell lines with lentiviral transduction and um, it was a very exciting time. I learned a lot of techniques and I got a real glimpse of a big laboratory where they have PhD students, master students and postdocs and where we have a very vibrant culture of doing experiments. And um, then when I was finishing my master thesis, the TA of the group decided to leave and they were looking for someone and um, uh, they had a very hard time finding someone and um, I decided to apply and I thought, why not? I need a job, I have no job, I have no work experience, so I have to kind of get into the job market and chances were quite high that they would take me because they already knew me and that's, that's how it was. So I got the job and here I am. Now I'm a lab technician. So it was a very long journey and I got my first job out of this university, my master's degree out of this university. So I don't know. I don't know where I will be in five years or so, but at the moment um, this is where I stand. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you want to know how much a laboratory technician earns, you can watch it down here somewhere. And I see you guys in the next one. Bye.